we, we've been involved in this game now for uh, just over a year, uh, taking that sort of concept that uh, Richard showed us uh, a few minutes ago and sort of working through that in the design of the construction so that that will work. You know, because ultimately we, we want to deliver a, a scheme that achieves all the all the research credentials that uh, that Richard and his team uh, want to be using the building for. Um, to do that, we've had to overcome some fairly significant challenges because generally buildings don't perform in the way that you know th this building is designed to do. You know, buildings. You know, at the extremes, you, you may have a cold room that's performing. It is it, it, set to perform at a very steady, you know, minus 20, minus 30 degrees. This building we, we designed to perform from minus 20 to plus 40, puts huge challenges on, on, on the systems and, and the components that we build the, the building from, such as the steel work. Uh, and, and as you can imagine, the, so the, those climatic conditions and um, you know, these products want to expand and contract and of course the, the building still needs to work and deal with that deal with those conditions so you know things like the, the huge doors that Richard showed to get every, everything in and out we have to put heating elements into those doors to make them work at those at those really cold temperatures so all of that's taken taken some time to work through such that you know, we, we got to the period where we started on site a couple of months ago and you know, we, we really excited to have been involved in that process to, to conclude that design and, and, and make all those things work. Um, just then sort of following on from some of the previous speakers about that sort of sustainability, that carbon neutral ag agenda. You know, like all contractors, like, like Barrett have touched on as, as well, you know, we have to take ourselves on that journey and, and, and we do that with our with many of our clients. You know, we have been working with the uh, Department for Education over the last 12 months to develop the first carbon neutral school and we're actually on site now constructing that in the, in the, in the south of England. Um, we've been developing that for a period now of about two years, uh, monitoring looking at all those smart controls and monitoring the energy usage within the schools that we've been building such that we can learn all of those lessons to develop this carbon neutral school. Um, it, people may have seen in the press recently as well, uh, we're just about, well we have now started on site, the large office building um, at the Noma area of Manchester um, and, and that's a, a big office building that the client has got to, very much the aspiration to get a net zero carbon building and that, that that is looking at the energy and use of that building, how that we can incorporate smart controls, how we can design the plant so that it uses, uh, so that you're not use, utilising large plants all the time in the building. So when the building is just occupied by, by a number of smaller users that we, we, we've, we've got plant that addresses those requirements. So. Yeah, that is the agenda that the whole of the construction industry is going through and it will take time. I'm sure the, the, the research that Energy House 2 will be able to provide will, will assist us to, to get to that end game. Thank you.